Hi there, and welcome to this series of masterclass videos from Skyhoy Innovation Lab about Reactor, the panel management software inside Skyhoy products. And uh, today we'll be working with the blue pill. And inside of this one, we have the platform you see in front of you in this web GUI running. And uh, on this one, we'll build up all the things that we're doing. So uh, either you need to own a blue pill or you should go for one of our blue pill inside panels that has the powerful platform of a blue pill inside of it. Reactor is the panel management software that will bring one or more panels together, add configuration, connect to devices, etc. If you don't know who I am, I'm Casper. I'm the uh, CEO, founder, chief designer of Skyhoy, and I love technology. We have so much to share with you with respect to Reactor. I have a huge team, and that team has other videos as well that are sharing details of this whole thing. So I just want to chip in with my uh, perspectives on it, and I am following slides that has been prepared by my team. So that means anything you see in this video is probably going to be available on these slides, so you could uh, acquire them somewhere. I don't know exactly where they'll be available for download, but you can go through this teaching. Uh, in a PDF file as well. So the first thing we want to do is to just quickly connect a panel. And because of the nature of um, making demonstrations like this one, I would prefer to just stay in the screencast environment here. So I'm going to um, PTC fly. Can I please find a PTC fly for me here? That is the one control. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's right here up in the top. Nice. Okay, so this is the PTC fly that we are going to work on today. See, if this was a physical panel connected, we would have uh, entered in an IP address here. Actually, we would have auto discovered it on the network because with Reactor, you can search the network uh, for devices, uh, not only cameras and switches and routers, but also Skyhawk controllers. So you'll just find them and add them and IP and all that will be set up. But in this case, we don't have a physical controller. It doesn't matter because in our simulator, you can see we have actually the ability to simulate the panels. So trust me, it's going to work exactly the same in real life. Yeah. So first this one, and then uh, much of the time we'll spend today will be inside configuration tab. Uh, but before we go there, I want to just show what happens when you pick any panel. You get a configuration. It picks the most likely configuration for you. In this case, PTC control, because PTC Fly is a PTC controller. And guess what the next step would be for many of you guys? That would be add camera. You would discover devices on the network. And it's weekend right now. So, oh, there are devices on my network. <laughs> OK, that's nice, but no cameras, apparently. So that requires the office to uh, to turn on the showroom. But anyway, we could search in our collection or sorry, add manually devices. So it could be like CRN 300. That would be a very nice Canon PTC camera that we use quite a lot. And we could add that and you could just continue like that. If devices were discovered on the network, they would also be added with the IP address. And this is how easy it is to set up multiple different brand devices on Skyhawk controllers in Reactor. Something we are so excited about because this has been a wish for years to make that easy and still powerful. Now, um, that's not the configuration we'll go with today. So actually, I'll just annul this and then create a custom configuration. We'll make custom stuff, right? So we just say training config, make this name, create this. And as we have now done so, we go to the configuration tab. Inside the configuration trap, tab, ah, <laughs> trap. <laughs> that was a funny thing. Inside the configuration tab, you find the tree over here. And when we open this up, the training config we made has found itself on a, or has been given a layer. So we have it in a special file, and this is on this layer and so on. And much of the layer stuff will be covered in a different video. I just want you to go and click this layer here. We'll then navigate, and I do that by holding down Option and dragging, so I can click this button here. And then I can create an action or a behavior. We call this behaviors because they include not only an action, but also the feedback coming back from devices and variables and so on. So as I do that, you see I've now assigned something without much selecting stuff to this button. It will show this in the display. It will light up white. And that is what came from simply marking the layer, clicking the button like I just do now once again, and press Create over here. So that's the first thing we'll do in these slides. But the next thing is that we'll click the layer again. And then you see a number of layer properties of things we can do with the layer in the inspector on the right side. The first thing I want to do is to create a variable called menu. So variables 
I'll show you in a moment can be used to, for instance, create an, a menu with three pages. And for that, we use a variable with three values. So I created the variable, I gave it a name, I am changing its type to options, and then I'm adding three options right here. For this, we will just type in a value, we'll type in a, a presets and cam selects. So I, this is the values of the variable. Now for, for each of these three options, I can have both a value, which is like machine readable. This is why I put them in lowercase. And then I want to have a label, which is human readable, like where we spell things with the correct casing and so on, like uppercase letters, or in this uh, case, uh, camera selects. Yeah, we'll just keep it at that. So now the variable that I created over here has been given the first value vmix. We can see that. But actually, in the variable editor, I can press this one and you'll see over here that it's changing over to presets and cam select and so on. Now, that's basically the first thing that we are doing in this video, that is to, uh, to set up this variable. And then I want my button right here to change that variable, okay? So what I will do is to just go back to it. And uh, I could also have chosen to create it now and, and not before. The order of that is really indifferent. So, but we, we are basically back at where I just created it a moment ago. So now follows two steps. When you create a new action like this, you press edit, and then you pick your IO reference. And IO reference means, IO stands for input, output. And reference means a reference referring to something. We use that slightly funny name, but still exact name, because in Reactor, we need to draw on a lot of data sources and data destinations. One of them would be device cores, that is your ATEM switches, your cameras and so on. Another one would be variables, which are system internal value holders that you can change, like this variable, for instance. But we also have literal values, although you can't change them, you can still get their value. And then we even have a bunch of other things like system stuff and panel settings and uh, flags and preset stuff that we're not covering in this video, so let's just show less. And then go for the variable, pick the variable menu that we just created over here, and submit. Now, this will automatically either suggest or select the behavior step change. Step change is a behavior that means that on this button associated with this variable, it believes that as we press the button, which we can do in a simulated environment by toggling simulation mode, as we press this button, it will rotate the values of the variable. You see it's reflected in the display it's also shown over here in the tree. There you can see the values are following along as I'm changing them, obviously. So what we have learned in this video so far is how to create a new configuration for any panel, how to make a behavior for a single button, associate that with a variable that we have created that has three options, and the behavior we chose is called step change. That means those three options are just shown in this one. Now, in the rest of these videos that belongs to the series, we'll see how we can how we can get under the skin of this whole thing. So that's the next thing that happens.